All right, so just visited the Home Depot. We got three small emerald green arborvitaes, and then we got two considerably larger emerald green arborvitaes. Um, so these two I'm going to put on the uh, west side of my fence line. These three will go on the northern side. And uh, so I've already started to dig three holes. And right now I'm just improving the size of the holes. Um, it rained last night, so I got to see the drainage. It's quite different for these three holes. You can see this one's got a pool of water. This one's got a clay bottom. All three have clay bottoms, but for some reason the water didn't pool in that one. And it didn't pool in that one. But uh, anyway, I am going to expand the diameter um, a little bit more. Um, I'm going to see if I can improve the drainage a little bit in this one by digging deeper into the clay, see if maybe we get through it. Um, and that's kind of where we are. So let's let me finish doing that a little bit. So let's see. Now there are some roots around from an old tree. I've been trying to tear that up too. I think it's possible the pooling water might actually be a benefit since arborvitaes don't do well if there's not a lot of water. So I'm not sure how poor drainage affects them. Sometimes you can cut through clay and give yourself some better drainage. You can see some air bubbles coming. All right, well, it's all right. It's starting to rain. But anyway, let's get some topsoil in there. Okay, I'm gonna do a little more topsoil. I want the top of the arborvitae surface to be just above the ground around it. All right, let's do a little more topsoil. break up some of these chunks and then I'm gonna make a little bit of a depression at the bottom let's see if that works yeah So our arborvitae's root ball is very much choking itself. So I'm gonna see that okay. So I'm gonna cut this a little bit. So I want these roots to be able to expand outwards. Okay. I'm also going to roughen them up a bit. Okay.
Get that topsoil. Okay, that's number one. Um, get that guy a little straighter. Cool. All right, boy. It's arbor vitae number one. So again, I don't want these old roots getting in the way. Those are really. Really in there, huh? Well, at least you can give her one direction to grow. So now we've given it some space. So now our little arbor vitae should have enough space. Let me dig that out now. Roots are choking on themselves. So, my hope is by cutting them, they will regrow.
Um, yeah, so this one's not too bad. Cause this one doesn't have crazy roots. Put our tools away because we don't want rust. Okay, so that is it. Those three in a few years will give us some decent privacy back here. Um, that's it. I mean, that's planting some emerald arborvitaes. Um, should probably give them some acidic fertilizer, something maybe for like azaleas. I don't know. I'll take a look. Um, and then maybe mulch the top of the soil just to make sure it stays moist. A good thing is it's right by my hose, so it's easy to frequently water these guys. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.